Hello, intrepid followers, subscribers, and watchers of my YouTube videos. Today, I'm doing something completely different, something you've never seen me do, and I thought it would be a good idea to do it, because you know why? I don't know why. <laughs> I know why. I've been doing cosplay for a while, as well as YouTube videos, and I noticed something about YouTube videos that were done by people who are cosplayers, and they do tutorials. There's no tutorials for guys about doing makeup for their cosplays. Because some guys do wear makeup in cosplays. You know who you are. I know who you are. So what we're going to do today is that. That's what we're going to do today. To do that, I'm going to do a character I have that wears makeup for my first one. I'm a little nervous and excited about doing this for you guys. But I think you'll like it. Speaking of which, it's this guy right here. I'm going to do a... Um, makeup for this guy. And you think, wait, Nightwing doesn't wear makeup. Well, the Nightwing I do do, I do do, <laughs> does wear makeup. He is a punk rock version of Nightwing. And I, instead of wearing a mask, he has makeup across his face to disguise himself. And I can tell you, it works. You don't believe me. I've got some friends who can tell you that it works. <laughs> so, I'm not just gonna put this makeup on and put the cosplay on and be like, ta-da! I'm gonna go through some of how this works. So this is gonna be a longer video probably than other videos that I've made. Let's get into it. First thing we have to do when wearing makeup is make sure your face is clean. And right now my face is a little on the sweaty side. I've got some sweat around here, some sweat up here. And I'm gonna be doing a lot of the makeup around here and I wanna make sure this area is dry as can be. So I'm gonna go wash my face and I will be right back. And we're back. Okay, so I've washed my face. You can see it's probably a little redder than it was before I did this. It's because I exfoliated, exfoliate, exfoliated all of that gunk that was on my face from the day because this is the afternoon evening. So I've been out being myself all day and just sweating and everything else. Um, another thing I do with this character though is I usually sh clean shave this whole area, but you know what? We're in stay-at-home orders. I'm just gonna stay like this, okay? Because we're really, like I said before, we're focusing just on this. Did I say that enough? We're focusing just on this. Now, when you're doing makeup, you wanna start with a foundation. I am not gonna do a foundation, but I have looked at foundations that I thought would look good on my face. And I'm still trying to figure out one that would work. Again, this one is mainly gonna be focusing on my eyes, so I'm not gonna put a foundation on. They are, and they do make, concealers and foundations that are for your eyes, but I'm not gonna do that. But I am gonna do one thing. This is called primer. It's called, first, this one's by NYX or NYX, I guess. It's called First Base. It's a primer, so it helps uh, prime the area you're gonna put makeup on. So we're gonna spray that across our face. I'm not gonna get up close like this and do it. We're just gonna go like this. So like any painting project you've done, if you ever did painting, I know you have. I'm sure you've painted something in your life. Sometimes it requires a prime coat or a primer before you put the main coat on. So that's what we're doing here. Ah, refreshing. <laughs> All right. So the colors and the makeup I'm using, of course, the colors are gonna be blue in color because well, that's um, the main primary color that uh, Nightwing wears is blue. Now, most times some of his masks that the artists draw him are black but I wanted to, sh to accentuate the blue that he wears because I thought that would be the coolest thing ever. So what we're gonna start is we're gonna start on the inside, right in here. So we're gonna make it look really dark. To make it really dark, we're gonna use a dark color blue. This is from Ben Nye. I can find where you're at. This is from Ben Nye and it's called FX Cream Color Charcoal Blue. And what I'm gonna do is it, and this one's a gel or a cream, a liquid, so it's not going to be as um, dusty as some of the other ones. Some are very dusty, um, and we'll get into those that are dusty a little, a little bit. So I'm going to use this brush right here. This brush, as you can see, it's sort of got this sort of almost like oval shape to it. And that's going to help make sure we get right in, right in here in the eye, right in here in the eye. I'm going to get really close so you can see it. We're going to get in right in this area right here. So here we go. And I'm going to make sure I'm coating both sides of the brush now. 
The brush that I'm using are black, so this is a very dark blue, so it's not gonna show up very well. Now, if we were using a powder color, I would do this, or I would shake it onto a, a, a paper towel or a, uh, a towel to get some of the excess off, but we're not gonna do that because it's, it's a cream, and creams are a little different. So, here we go. I'm not gonna be looking at you guys up here as I do this because this is in a mirror. Uh, I've got a mirror right here. It's got a really nice uh, light on it. So I'm gonna be looking down a lot as I do this. So this is great to have a mirror because you want to be able to see closely what you're doing. Now it's also probably very um, weird if you're someone who doesn't like getting things near your eye. Whoa, what is that? <laughs> It looks a little like I have a black eye or a bruised eye, doesn't it? That's a, actually I might be doing a, another one on bruising. But anyway, um, yeah, so there's what I've done on this side. So we're gonna do the other side. Now we've got the black in. We're just gonna put the black right there because it's gonna accentuate my nose, the bridge of my nose a little bit. And we're not gonna do any like big, huge things with our fo my forehead or my cheeks. Um, and maybe some of my other tutorials, I might end up doing stuff with the cheeks and, uh, contouring and all that kind of junk, but we're not doing that. Um, this is punk rock. He's not very, you know, he's a punk rock Nightwing, so he's not very like, I need to look fabulous and fancy. <laughs> so next we're gonna go in, and as you can tell, I'm going shades lighter as I go out from both areas. So next we're gonna go with a sapphire blue. This is also Ben Nye, and this is from their FX Cream Color Collection. These are some really great colors. Um, I get mine at a place in here in the Seattle area called um, uh, Makeup Medley. Um, they have an online store if you want to go on there. I'll, I'll put the link to Makeup Medley down below. They're part of a um, theater association here in the area that does props and other stuff for the theaters. And they also help provide makeup. So they also provide it to people just in the public. So you can go in and get it. And when I got this makeup, I actually had someone from the store help me. I told them what I wanted to do, how I wanted to look. And they said, great, here's what you need. And this best part is makeup, yeah, this is becoming a shameless plug. I know, sorry. Makeup Medley, when you go on their website, they have a chat feature. So you can chat with someone who you can sell, hey, this is what I'm doing, this is what I need, this is what I'm looking for. And they'll pop up and they'll give you links to all the different makeup you could try and want to try on, okay? So here we go. And we're gonna be using the same brush. I've sort of done my best to clean it. Um, there are some cleaning products out there. We'll get to that in a minute. Now this, I'm gonna put it up here on the upper part of my eye, right in this area, just right here, okay? And that's to accentuate my eye, on the underside of my eye, because well, I, uh, I have dark eyes, seriously dark eyes. Just do it like that. You know what, we're gonna get right in there, right in there, yeah, get right in there. Right in the darkness of it, there we go, yeah. Now, I'm not going for a traditional mask. I'm gonna put up some pictures of what inspired me to make this. So there's this one, and then there's this one. So these are the, the ones that inspired what I'm doing. Um, I wasn't able to find something that's exactly like what I'm doing because, well, no one's really done it. It's really cool. And it's the thing, like a lot of cosplayers are trying different ways of looking and making their characters look. And so there's a few of us that do punk rock and everyone does it a little differently, and this is how I do it. So what do you guys think? So you can see the difference in the color. So we're gonna do it on this side now. Oops. And I get it close to my eyebrows as best I can. I'm not gonna get into my eyebrows, but I'm gonna get close to my eyebrows. Wait, is that, okay. I thought I picked the wrong makeup and was like, ah! And that's another thing to do. When you're doing makeup, when you're applying makeup, only have open the container of makeup you're using at that moment in time <laughs> because if you have, you'll get things mixed up and if they look very close in color, like these two do, whoo, that would be a no-no. You don't want that. Don't want that. Okay, I'm liking this. Yeah, yeah. So there's both sides of that. Now we're gonna move on to a bigger brush because we're gonna do a little something different. We're gonna go a little lighter in color, but this one 
is now a powder. This is a powder color. Oh, I almost have draws. This is also Ben Nye, and it's from their Pressed Eyeshadow. And this is, of course, an eyeshadow, and it's called Twilight Blue. I like this one the best. I put the lid back on that other one. And put those away, because I'm not going to use them for a while. This one I'm going to put more on the eye, my eyelid and under my eyelid, and then bring it out to a certain point in my eye so that it... Um, It'll look great, too. This is the brush I'm using now. I don't know what the numbers are on this brush, but you can see the the shape compared to this one. This one's a little more small and, and, and round. They're both round, but this one's a little bigger. And again, this is a powder, so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna put the powder, I'm gonna run the powder across the palette. That's what these are called, are palettes. Um, this is just a mini palette, or a small palette, or just a cape holder. And then I'm gonna tap it. Just a little tap, yeah, give it a little tap. Give it a little tippy tap. <laughs> and I'm just gonna bring it across my entire brow. And the reason you wanna tap it is because you don't want any excess falling from the area you're putting it on onto another area and make it look messy. Now. When you're putting this across your eye, make sure your eyes all the way closed, and don't put it right into your eye. I'm putting it right below my eye. I'm getting really in there close. Now, if you have some issues or uncomfortableness with being near your eyes, I get it. I do too. I don't like putting my finger in my eye, but I'm okay with doing it around my eye because I'm. I have something I'm doing that's making it that's soft and it's and it's safe and it's comfortable. All right. So there's that side. Now I'm gonna do this side. And I didn't tell you this before, I did go above my eye, my actual eyelid and up into my brow area too. And I might go over that, you know, I might go over that with some of the other as well, some of the cream color. Blend it a little more. You may have to do it more than once. One swipe might not be enough, guys. Uh-oh, I made a boo-boo. But you know what, that's a, cult. That's a cool boo-boo. So I made a boo-boo, see, it went a little, it went a little down. You know why that happened? I didn't tap, tap. I didn't do a tap, tap. Good example of why you should tap. So you're thinking, wow, Joel, that's interesting. Like, it looks really cool. Now, if I wanted to, I could just make it look more like a mask. I can just go straight across my, my the brow of my nose right here and make it look like a general mask. And if I wanted to, I could really make it look like a mask and see my, my eyebrows. I do this thing where I glue them flat, I flatten them out, I cover, and then I cover them up, and then I put foundation on them, and then I put more makeup over that, so then you don't even see the brows, because like when you're wearing a mask, you usually don't see a person's brows very often. But we're not doing that, because we're not doing a traditional mask. We're doing a punk rock smear, like he's just smeared, like, if you notice those pictures I just showed you, it's sort of like it's smeared across his face, like he's just taking the makeup and just smear it across the face, which is essentially what I'm doing. <laughs> because most times, you wouldn't be going out as far as I am. Look how deep I got into my eyebrow, up in my eyebrow area, almost looking like a trash panda. I made myself a trash panda. <laughs> all right, I think I've done all I can with this bad guy. So now we have this lighter shade of blue. It's the FX cream color. And guess what it's called? Blue! <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and put that on. So here we go. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna, we're gonna, I'm just playing around here. So we're just gonna, not like, I'm not like really pressing down hard on it. I'm just sort of letting it go along the edges here. I'm gonna get it all over here. And it doesn't, I'm not looking for like symmetry or like straight across. I want it to go a little off because it's supposed to look like he's, I've just thrown it on my face. So now I'm actually going into my eyebrows and that's okay because I want it to blend into there. And you might wanna go, you can go against the grain of your hair and that'll get it up in there, up in there, up in there. There we go. 
material. And we're gonna put a little bit into what you've already done already. And we're gonna bring it up onto the nose. Here we go. Going onto the nose. Wow, it's so good. I, I like it already. Doesn't it look great? We're gonna put a little more right in there, I think. There we go. Maybe a little more up in that part there, too, because it's not really getting in there. Okay, bring it onto the nose. Pretty good. It's still sort of narrowing, so I'm going to bring it down a little more right here. Make it less narrow. And go across my bridge of my nose. Crossing that bridge. Now, the first time I wore this, I'll put a picture up of the first time I did this makeup. So right now, so you can see what it looks like. Um, and you'll notice... It's not like this. It looks completely different. Why? Because I had someone else do it for me. Fun fact. If you are going to a con and you're going to cosplay characters that has to wear makeup, if you buy the makeup, if there's a, if there's a exhibitor that's selling makeup, they might have makeup artists there who can do your makeup. So if you buy the makeup from them or like they, you know where their store is at and you know they're going to be at the con, let them know if you're buying their stuff and bring your receipt and they will put the makeup on. And that's what happened. I was at the con. I bought the makeup from Makeup Medley store, brought it to the con, and they put it on for me. It was great. It was super great. I loved it. It was really great. And it was really helpful. I think I'll link that video to where when I wore that makeup in the in the description below so you can go watch that video from that um, vlog of me at that, that comic book convention. That was at a Rose City comic book. Ugh, cons. I miss them already. Not been that long, but I miss them. And we'll know what soon if we're going to have them come back next year. I'm hoping most of them are going to come back next year. That's one of the other things, is I love doing this makeup with this character. And I'm excited to wear it in public at a con so that other people can see it. But I don't know when I'm going to be able to do it for a group of people, you know? I got a little too heavy right there. Blend that a little more. Yeah. And always remember, if you get both sides of your brush, make sure you're using both sides of your brush. If you start to notice it's getting a little lighter, or it doesn't make sense, oh yeah, I like that. That's the stuff. Get my nose right here. Get the nose right there. Oh, did I miss a spot there too? Oh, yeah. So the effect I'm going for is more realistic effects, like I've just done what I just did now, which is just pushed it all over my face. Pushed it all up in there. I have to get the inside of the brow. There we go. Look that. Oh, yeah. That's the stuff right there. That's the stuff. A little dark right there. Let's get a little more on this. Uh, now, if you ever, when I was talking about earlier that technique where you, um, cover up your eyebrows and you'll put um, a makeup on it, what you actually are doing is you take glue, like a glue stick, and you glue them down flat and then you cover them with a concealer or a primer and then you put foundation over it so then you don't see them. And we might do a cosplay where I have to do that. I think we will. Yeah, it's, I, I think I got an idea for one. I'm not telling you what it is right now. No. You cannot know. All right. How's that look? Does it look good? Okay. Well, we're not done. We're not done. We have to set it. We have to use something to set it to stay in place so it doesn't run because I'm a sweaty guy. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a very sweaty guy. And when I wore this before, ooh, I was sweating so much because of everything else I had on and it was just pouring down my face. And you know what it did? Because I put the setting spray on it, it stayed steady. It stayed safe. If I put the setting spray on it, all of the sweat would come through and like make lines in it and everything. So that's what we're doing now. We're going to put some setting spray. What I'm doing is I'm putting it on the back of my hand. 
And I got this fun little brush here. It's called a Kabuki brush. It's sort of cool. And I just rub, rub it in there, and I powder it on, just like that. Just like that. I think it looks great. I really do. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna get suited up because I haven't finished the cosplay. This is only a, a fourth of a fourth of the cosplay, so we have to do the rest of it. We have to do the rest of it. Oh, you know what I just realized when I do this? Ooh, I don't like that. We're not done. We're not done. Nope. We're gonna put a little more blue right along here. Yeah, I like that. That's better. And it's okay if you start to notice something after you put some setting spray, because you can always go over it more, from what I understand. And if you feel like you messed up or you don't like what you did, you can use makeup remover and start over. Don't be afraid to start over. And don't be afraid to make mistakes. Always test this. I didn't test it the first time I did it. I went in clean with my idea and I had another make, I made a makeup artist do it, which helped because she could look outside and look at what was going on and make it. So I did a test run of this yesterday just to get an idea of where I was going and what I was going for. And this is what I came up with. So let's, let's finish getting ready. Let's go do that. Okay, here we go. Woo. What? Nightwing. watching leave a comment on what you should, i should do next for another cosplay makeup tutorial don't forget to like this video and subscribe to what i do next until then here is a playlist of cosplay videos and something youtube thought you might like to watch thanks again guys bye